Come on, Roach. My man went to see the witch again. She's enchanting them. I tell ye, sucking the life from their bodies. Since me husband went to her, all he does is sit outside, pick his task and don't him. help with anything Should anymore. Should be waning once the Baron's men lay their hands on her, and then they'll burn the village down. A pox on us all, if it's true. Master Witcher, there's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about mid cops, and a heap of monsters roaming about it. the rush? Never visit the witch myself. I've my elf, thank the gods. And for the rest, well, she can't bake bread from stone either. Oh, come on, this new one's not half bad. Sharp tongue on her, but she yeah, helps when there's a shrine. need. She I can't fill our guts with spells. Besides, she got no works. She's not cross -eyed. And what's a witch with no grey on her head? Not much likely to be inside it. Have one. Should send him back to the witch. I'm sure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I didn't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set him now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young uns. Marion's lad, now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. What are you looking at? Stop bothering us poor folk. Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. 
Leave me be, and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. You sure? Give it a think. Won't take no for an answer, will ye? Ooh, all right. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind, meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes, if you like them skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Take pity. Don't steal our young'uns. Ah! somewhere nearby. Miss, the cows are wheezing, won't rise from the barn floor, pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. Watch what you say. She's quick to oil. Roots are gonna rot my gut. Bitch is in a proper fury. Needs a man. she run off to? Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection.
pentagram in chalk. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... So this is where she disappeared to. Greetings, Witcher. Kira met deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? Apparently, she quarreled with the local witch. <laughs> Someone's been feeding you horseshit. The girls around here are too stupid to quarrel with me. She's not from here. You're up to something, Geralt. If I'm to help you, you must tell me what's going on. Who are you looking for? Siri. Siri? Well, now I understand the secrecy, not to mention the brooding, the furled brow. And do you say she had some sort of problem with a witch? So you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at, but you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Ciri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did.
Do you leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. This is the place. Been here before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised, or else his wife would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Gvela Glan. Hand. What? Phantom Riders? That means... I, I thought they didn't exist. Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. Not sure I like any of this.
Kira. spell. Fine, won't say anything. So what happened to you? There's something here, something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Let's go. We might still reach the Elven Mage before they do. But what does the Hunt want from him? If that Elf has information about Ciri, or if she tried to find him, contact him even, and they sensed her, very well, let's move on. Perhaps we'll come across some clue, some trace left by this elf. There's no guarantee the Wild Hunt is going the right way. Gavella Glan. That's him. That's the elf. What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. A what projection? Something akin to a post box for mages. Much safer than an ordinary letter which anyone can intercept en route to its recipient. Message was definitely for Ciri, daughter of the Gull, Lara Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tzidel. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see.
An old elven port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful. That oily yellow vapor, it's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Vesemir told me that soon after he wanted to cast Igni, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quick on young witchers. Come on. Old Elven Port. Must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful. That oily yellow vapor, it's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Vesemir told me that soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible idea. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quick on young witchers. Come on.
soon. Well, well. Follow. Seems we're headed the right way. Rather similar to that other pillar with the projection. Sirel, ni for the sol eser in. Sirel, ni for the sol eser in. Hey, Sirel. Monster. No, that's what Siri named her mare. The horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, shall we look for it? Gavella Glan. on with line. Drawing of a horse. Clue for Siri must be. Another horse. 
Almost exactly like the last one. Let's see what this does. Geralt! I don't know what you did, but it worked. Come back here. Look, they're opening! Let's go. Well, now I know what distorted my effort at teleportation. This very portal. And I know why I landed in that drowner nest. You should be pleased to emerge from the portal in one peak. I think that's a... swallow. Oh, come. Sure it's safe. Of course. The Elven Mage prepared this passage for Ciri. Come on now. So, make sure and tell me beforehand next time. My intuition's a fine instrument, Witcher. Don't underestimate it. I've some very good feelings about you, for instance. In several domains. Once you finally find Siri, what will you do? Any plans? To 
depends what she wants. Imagined it, how it will transpire. What will she say? What will she look like? No. I'm sorry for getting ahead of myself. At times I forget. We hardly know each other. Certainly not enough to discuss personal matters. Not to worry. We'll get there. Over there. We must activate it quickly. I have a feeling another golem's about to surprise us. I'll do it! 
Tale of power. If you can't go on, you can't leave me here. I'd never do that. <laughs> mm. Love to be able to say we could stay here a while and rest. I know, I know. We must go on. the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Yeah, never. He awaits us. Get Geralt to look! He's opening the passage! 
Stay calm. On straight, this looks like the elves' laboratory. Look, the elf has another message for Siri. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Vellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. How do I find them? The swamps are vast, dangerous, but they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog, and from that chapel one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... 
I truly do believe you'll we'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. Mysterious mage herbalist. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Hmm. Huh. Thanks. Simple, isn't it? Mm hmm Let's see where the passage leads. That. A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glam. We're certain to find something here. <sighs> Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Let's try it. Just gotta figure out the order. Four statues, each like the other. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beak. Wait, something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement.
was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. Is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. <sighs> Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Siri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.